In today's video, I'm gonna show you you can fix a leaky valve in your kitchen or bathroom in less than one minute, and it doesn't require any soldering or special tools. You're gonna to have two different kind of leaks on valves in your house. The first is if you've got an open tap like this and the water's dripping or pouring out of the bottom, you're gonna to need to do a different repair, but fortunately I've made that video and I've linked it in the upper right hand corner. This type of leak might look the same, but it's completely different because this valve is totally closed, meaning that water is going into one end of the valve and then it's feeding a fixture. Now here it's going to a toilet, but you'll have similar valves underneath your kitchen sink that'll be feeding your faucet, and you definitely wanna take care of this as soon as possible. Good news is you only need one tool for the job, and that's an adjustable wrench. Now you can use channel locks or something else, but those might damage the finish of the valve. And here's the secret about this repair that makes it so easy. That front nut on a valve is actually adjustable. Underneath it is a type of sealing washer. But fortunately the fix is easy. You're gonna put your wrench onto the nut and turn it just slightly to the right. That handle goes into the valve and that washer creates a seal. But over time it can wear out and that can cause your leak. And you might be thinking, why turn it slightly? I'll just tighten it up all the way. Well, unfortunately there is a catch. That same nut controls the valve itself meaning if you tighten it too much, you'll never be able to turn that handle. But don't worry if you go too far and your handle won't move because you can just back that nut off just a little bit. And most of the time you're gonna find you only need to move that nut just a little bit to completely get rid of your leak. But double check to make sure it's gone. And it's always a good idea to come back to a repair like this, even in a couple of days, to make sure the valve is still completely dry. Most often that front nut is gonna turn fairly easily, but if that thing is stuck or really on there, grab a second wrench or a set of channel locks like this and grab onto the body of the valve itself, and that should give you a little bit more leverage to allow you to turn that nut without rotating the valve itself. You don't wanna cause any movement in the pipe that's going into the wall. And you can use that same trick even in the kitchen or bathroom. You're gonna likely have the same valves. The only difference will be they're not gonna be chrome. They're probably gonna be brass like this but they're still gonna have that same packing nut on the front that you can tighten up if you have any kind of leak. And it also works on an outdoor faucet like this, or this might be similar to one you could have on a washing machine, but the key is to look at where the water is coming from. You can see it's seeping out of that front nut, and the fix is just as simple. Grab that wrench, you're gonna put it on the front nut and give it a slight twist to the right. Tighten that packing nut up enough so that you eliminate your leak, but you wanna make sure that the valve handle will still operate. Check the handle to make sure it still works, and if it's too tight, just back that nut off a little bit, and eventually you'll find the happy medium of where your leak is gone, and you can still operate the valve. Now the valves I showed you here are really common, and you're gonna find them in almost any older home, and by that I mean even a house that's over 10 years old. But there are some newer valves that are completely different, and they've eliminated that front packing nut. They're almost always gonna be what's called a quarter turn valve. Now they get that name because the valve only needs to be turned a quarter of a turn, to turn it off or on. This one's a chrome plated toilet valve, but here's an example of an outdoor valve that also has that same quarter turn mechanism. And you'll see that there's no nut that you can make any adjustments to. And if your valve's leaking like this out of the front, you'll wanna watch my other video, and I can show you how to completely rebuild the inside of the valve without ever having to remove it. But what if you've got a different problem and your valve is completely stuck? The thing might feel like it's frozen. Well, most of the time you can unstick a valve just by doing a few simple tricks. And I've got that video linked in the upper right hand corner. 